you know, trying to flirt and stuff. You mean be creepy? This is not flirting. You're just being creepy. All those options. It's Jessica and welcome back to Super Seducer 2 and we are going to continue on with chapter 2 and uh, after playing the last episode I hope this one was very interesting as the last one fainting old ladies he had a tank at one point so you know anything can happen with Richard LaRuna so let me give the briefing of this chapter in a very seducing voice. It's dangerous territory, but the workplace is still a common place for relationships to begin. How do you successfully navigate and avoid getting fired or sent to jail? <laughs> what? Goal, date your secretary. Dude, you should not be dating your co-workers. That is so weird. Like, unless they're, you're already in a relationship or you're married before you got the job and stuff like that, it's highly inappropriate. If you're the boss and you're trying to date your secretary, oh god, please. Mr. Laruna, don't make me not like you now. <laughs> what the hell? Are you sick a little bit? A little bit, got some sinus problems. What are you sniffing, but... chalk? What was that? How's the business going? It's going really well. Yeah. We're doing uh, product design now. Really? Furniture design, oh, yes. Wow. Very excited. Got two prototypes and they seem to be really what nice. What is happening? Who is this? Like them. But more importantly, how many followers you got on your honestly designed Instagram? Because that's more important than of money course. and contracts. <laughs> Just 1, 000, that's always important. How many followers you got on social media? Like, Not the accomplishment, the accomplishments you made. The office, you oh know, my god, it's a bit nuts at the moment. Okay, it was really nice party. Hmm. Yes. Sorry, I wasn't there, but, but. it's not all bad. Because I've got a present for you. You do? Yeah. Is it, yeah. It's like the in-between chapters. So. There's supposed to be some random ass shit they put together. Is that the thing? What will you give Lilia for her birthday? Vouchers to yoga lessons. Gift, gift a game on Steam. <laughs> Raccoon. <laughs> what the hell? Oh my god. If this was me, I would love a fucking game on Steam. Holy crap. What happens if I pick the raccoon though? I want to know. It's going to be great. Um... Relax, close your eyes, and get ready for your surprise. Wait, is he gonna like actually bring a live ass raccoon into the room and drop it on her? Dude, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. <laughs> this man oh, brought a raccoon! You ready, Lilia? Open your so. eyes! Open your eyes, Lilia! Open! It's a raccoon! Oh my god! God, he's scratching me. Oh, oh god. Fuck, raccoon. he scratched me up, but anyway. So anyway, it's your raccoon. <laughs> My raccoon? Yeah, because your cat died. So I got, Tom died, right? So. He did, yes. Now you've got a so, raccoon. Uh, is that even legal to have like a raccoon for? as a pet? Is that a thing? Like, I don't even know. about 21 years. How old is he now? Um, nine, nine, nearly 10 months. Are you serious? Because yeah. cats are, f cats it's are shit, let's it's be a honest. Joke. It's a joke. Dogs are boring. Cats are boring. Plus, I have allergy. I'm sure I'll be the raccoon? only one. Cats are boring. Here, have a yeah, raccoon. Exactly, right? <laughs> I'll be the only one. Happy birthday! Surprise! Thank you. You got it, babe. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> Lilia, you, your damn raccoon's broken my vase. Your damn now. raccoon? Yes. I mean, Whoa. stay a bit longer. Then take him to your house. He's gonna fucking smash everything. <laughs> it's been mine just for a few minutes. We're in his house. I'm so confused yeah. what this yeah, scenario is, is, but whatever. Oh god. Are you sure I need to take him home? Can yeah. You can you help me clean that up? It's a great present, obviously. <laughs> Look at everyone's face in the room. They're like, "What is he talking about?" Look, I would like it's. On the cusp, if you buy someone a kitten or a puppy, let mm. alone a raccoon. Well, let's say it's, uh, it's in the raccoon shelter. They're about to blow his brains out, right. and then you rescue it. Rescue him and send him off to the That's wild. That's so extreme. What is he talking about? I don't agree at all. This game takes like a wild ass turn out of nowhere all this the time. Great, you know? And I'm happy we can still be friends after, um, you know, when we had sex. Yeah? yeah, you remember yeah, yeah. that time we were in my house and we had some drinks and yeah. when you just broke up and yeah, you remember. Okay, yeah. you don't have to yeah. bring it up. You're just making her really uncomfortable. Uh, clearly. Uh, anyway, look, guess what? Um, tomorrow I've got this uh, new secretary starting in my office. It's a oh, big day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She good. Oh, she's really smart. I think she's gonna be great. 
Yeah. I hope so. What kind of conversation is this? Remember the time we had sex? By the way, I have a new secretary come in in the office. Oh my god. <laughs> wait, wait, he has a picture of himself. And then in the background, he has a picture of himself. Oh my god, this guy's a fucking joke. I love it. <laughs> Sarah, could you come in, please? What a meme. This man's a legend. I'm telling you right now. This guy's going in meme. Meme dumb. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well, it's your first day at work, so we should get you started with something. Nothing too hard. Let me ask you to... Okay, the first task for your new secretary will be sexually show her how to staple properly. Ask her to fax some contracts and rearrange a meeting. Tell her you can't focus on work because you're thinking about fucking her. Oh my god. Take your dirty laundry in to the dry cleaners. Create a situation in order to super situary. Create, uh, check out her ass. Oh god, ew! Why? I know the whole premise of this uh, like chapter is to, like date your or have sex with your secretary to not get fired, but it's like you should not do that. This is so creepy. Ew! Just fax some crap. Oh my god. Just printed out some contracts, so if you can go get those together, I'll quickly sign them. Also, I think I've got a meeting today with uh, Ben Adams, right? That's at three, but I need you to move it back 30 minutes if you can. So, yeah, go and do that stuff to get yeah, started, okay. and I'll, I'll think of some more things sure. for you. And when you come and speak to me, you should probably have a notepad. I mean, sometimes there's just, you know, some, oh, some okay. stuff to write down. Okay. All right. Stop checking her out, dude. Dude, don't be weird. <laughs> Good, nice one. So here you had the opportunity to immediately be, you know, trying to flirt and stuff. You mean be creepy? This is not flirting. You're office. just being creepy. All those Stop options. Yeah, it's really important that you keep that professional boundary at the beginning, not look like you're hitting on her. You can't. Otherwise, She's going to go to fucking stuff. HR and you're going to get fired. Oh my God. This is so weird. This is so weird. I don't know if I like this chapter. <laughs> Mr. Marina, I've got a lot of mail today. What should I do with it? He's like, you can stuff it in my pants. <laughs> oh, God. Correct tone to take with her. Sexual, because it's a, your company. You can do what you want. Flirty and cheeky to plant the seed of a relationship. Professional, because it's an obvious... Be professional! Can you imagine? Like, if this is a real-life scenario, this happens a lot where bosses take advantage of, like their their workers or the employees because like they're either very young or they're innocent and like uh they need the job so they're willing to do anything but can you imagine being like i could this is my company so i can do whatever the hell i want i'm gonna have sex with you later like you know what i mean like ugh, just being normal why <laughs> yeah you need to get used to that because we get a lot of mail most of it is junk right but okay. don't throw it out right away why don't we start like this make uh, two piles Right? For the first couple weeks, we'll try and figure it out and, you know, slowly we'll get to the point so that you're just opening everything and only bringing... I don't even want to click, stuff. like, the bad answers now, just you know, for jokes because they seem so we'll, creepy we'll to me. I don't know. Cool. Okay, cheers. God. This is a pretty obvious one. Yeah, I think right? it is. But yeah, some people course, don't um, know the obvious, again, like you know? It's the beginning, so you know how you're not comfortable when you just start a new job and the last thing you want is you know the difficulty of dealing with uh, i like worked like at my at old workplace well. uh, i remember like them. one of the managers would always so be hitting on day. like the new uh employees because they were like they were Mr. like Lina. young girls it was really fucking yeah, creepy but he got fired so don't worry about it phone for you no, wait wait hey hey thomas how you doing buddy no, 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 that's just... He doesn't want to fucking talk to the clients. No, 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 we only raised the price on that drug to... Yo, these people are, like, struggling in the background. What's going on with them? But it was really just so we can, you know, do better R&D and create more life-saving drugs. So, like, I'm assuming, like, she made a mistake, so you're gonna have to, like, no. correct her or some crap like that and how to, like, respond to yeah, this I'm kind of stuff? Yes, yes, I understand. Another time, another time. Thank you very much for your call. Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye. bye, bye. <laughs> what kind of boss are you? Sarah, get in here, please. Okay. 
Okay, uh, tell her to book a hotel for both of you at lunchtime to make it up to you. Ew! Make a crying teacher a lesson. No. Tell her it's not a big problem, but be more careful in the future. Tell her it's totally fine. No biggie. No. Uh, obviously you can just play it off, but if you just play it off, she's gonna do it again. So it'd be like, hey, just be careful. These other two are weird. Sarah, do you know what you just did? Yeah? This guy, Thomas Green, is a real asshole. Okay, so he's on the list. You've got it there somewhere in your desk, right? Yeah. You know that one, 20 people not to yes, put through? All right, he's gonna probably write a bad article or whatever. Don't worry, you just started. Everyone is Jim Sterling on this list? <laughs> just all right. joking. In future, just, you know, your job is basically to protect me from all these nasty people. My mum put them through straight away. Certain people put them through straight away. Thomas Green, sorry, he's busy. He's always busy, he's in a meeting, he's out, that kind of thing, all right? But don't worry too much, just, you know, be careful. I'm so sorry, I didn't mean to do that. That's I'll be right. more careful in the future. Okay, don't worry about it. That's how you be a real boss, instead of being creepy. Stop looking at her, god damn it, sorry. That's the right option, you know, in, uh, in any kind of um, office environment, if someone's working for you, you want to give them a chance if they make the same dumb mistake three times, obviously it's too much, but you know, everyone's welcome to make a mistake or two. Yeah, and again, he's acting professionally. You, you know, have to! Him. Like, there's no way you could date your secretary. I don't know why this is a chapter. It's just like testing people to be like, how far will they go? <laughs> Mr. Lorena. Yeah? You have three meetings coming up today. Okay. First one with the everyday guy. All right, I'm going to need the money bag for that one. Okay. The second one with R&D manager. Okay. He's useless. Yo, someone's open Photoshop on, on the screen over here. <laughs> okay. Now, you know I told you about Phil, right? He's very, very important. He's invested even more money. He's up to over a billion with us. So you know how he likes his coffee. He likes the little biscuit, all of that stuff. So just keep him happy. You know what to do. Sure. Okay, give her a personal task to perform for you and reveal some personal information. Tell her some juicy gossip about the marketing director. Tell her to wear more sexy clothes. Oh god, clothing to work. Tell her you had a really sexy dream about her. Describe it in graphic detail. Ew! I don't know what I would do though, like... Personal info? No, it should be this, right? You, you uh, talk shit about your marketing director, I don't know. So, you know what, this, um, yeah, I can tell you. You know Dominic, marketing director? Yeah, I know. Oh, shit, this is amazing. Check this out. You know he's got all these tailored suits, like uh, linen and silk and all that. Yeah? yeah. Lots of nice suits. We were all wondering, where does he get such nice suits? He's banging the tailor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. That, you know that old man? Oh, that's so random yeah. to yeah. say. He makes amazing suits, thousands of dollars. He yeah. gets them for free because he bums him. Can you oh. believe it? Oh, God. I mean, don't tell anyone, but I just wanted you to know. because it's Don't tell important. anyone. I'm just telling you that our marketing director fucks the tailor. Cool. <laughs> All right, get back to work. Don't tell him I told you. And this is the boss. Just a reminder. This is the boss gossiping. I don't know what to say in that. Say, so, what do you think? Gossip? No, it's just unprofessional. It is! Yeah. You don't start off... You want to gain the respect as being the boss. Especially the to boss. a new employee, you know what I mean? That's so weird. In the, in the office environment. And... No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't advocate bitching about your office partners. And in general, even like colleagues is bad, isn't it? Because if you're telling a story about someone else, then that person is going to think, well, what do they say about me? Precisely. Yeah, you can start rumours. You'll start have a lot of enemies. <laughs> Good morning, Sarah. Morning, Mr. Lowe. Wow, check out that jacket! Okay. Was it raining outside? I don't know. <laughs> okay, complain that you had to work over the weekend to get sympathy. Talk about a girl you fucked over the weekend with explicit detail. Ask her when the last time she had a proper see into the bedroom. Ah! Talk about how her weekend was. Ew! Why would you- Ew! <laughs> Ew! I'm gonna just- how was your weekend? Like, I'm curious, but I don't want to be- I don't know, I don't want to be creepy. How was your weekend? It was fun. Um, I went to go karting with oh, yeah? my friends. Yeah, it was I'm so surprised. Fun. Yeah, you like racing and stuff. Yeah, I do. Oh, it's like karting. What does she mean? Passion. Well, I didn't know that. Yeah, and how was your weekend? Oh, it was good. I had to finish some work and then just, yeah, relax, watch the movie and 
Well, it was pretty good. I'm, I feel rested. But I didn't know we had a speed freak in the office. Fast oh, and the no, Furious! No. <laughs> this seems like a classic question to ask someone. Yeah, and you're not yeah, being weird and being like, hey, uh, fuck that girl, I got some mad puss over the weekend is what it's, happened to me. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely okay. Um, but it might reveal something that, you know, is, uh, is interesting and tells you more about her yeah. outside the office. Maybe sure, you can get to know them personally without being creepy. in common <laughs> that you can talk about. Sarah, how long have you been working for us now? Uh, for three weeks. Yeah, about three weeks, right? Look, I Are think they using 3DS so Max in the you know, back there, Maya? Cool, what kind of company much. is this? And I just wanted to know, like, what are you looking for in general in your career? Like, what, how do you want to develop? Well, my main goal is to learn and develop, and mm -hmm. I want to get as much knowledge as possible in all areas of the business. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm very happy. Oh god, he's like, I'm thinking of something really creepy. <laughs> Give her career advice and mentor her. Tell her she needs to set her sights lower. Tell her she needs to get an A plus for filling and an F minus for sucking your down. Ew! <laughs> Tell her that the working world is really for men and that she should focus on finding a husband. Yo, that is so sexist. Oh my god. Ah! Uh, let's see what happens if it clicks you. One wrong answer for this chapter. I want to know what he will say. You know, it's a bit difficult because on one hand, you're very good. Yeah? Nice telephone voice. Hello, this is Sarah. Richard and Co. Lovely. All of that stuff. Filing. A to Z, perfect, but we've got problems, you know? Conference call, uh, question from Morgan Stanley. Why aren't you there sucking my dick under the <laughs> table? Excuse me? Yeah, <laughs> you need to improve. Otherwise, you can be secretary forever. Go fuck yourself, you're so disgusting. Ew! <laughs> this, you talk about me. And it's just some shit meetings and stuff. What was he expecting? Like, hey, I want to suck Richard's dick. Is that what he thought he was gonna write it's there? A bit crude. Yeah. So wait, if we get if we get it wrong, is he like in a hostage situation? <laughs> like, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Here, there's another one, dude. Here, here you go. <laughs> He's feeding grapes to these dudes. Oh my god, that's so weird. Um. Okay, reality, you can give her advice. I don't think she has to set her standards lower. I mean, it's nice to have goals to look up to, so I don't think it's a bad thing. It's just give her advice. Sarah, you know what? Um, the person that had your job before you, they're actually doing really well now in another business. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of opportunities. I, I didn't know you had that kind of ambition, but here's what I can do. You know, we've got all the different departments here, everything from IT to marketing to the research and development guys. So why don't I invite you to more meetings, more events, and that way you're just going to learn about all the different sides of the business and we can see what you like, see how things go. See, that's and, a normal yeah, maybe, person answer. Maybe we can find something I know this is a game, everybody. It's just like, sound? I'm so game hesitant game to click the wrong ones because it sounds so like, ugh. I think it's because it's not like video game characters, like fictional that's characters. Right it's actually like and real people acting out. So that's why I'm just kind of like, ew. Kind of older and have a lot of experience and, you know, maybe in a, in a good job or just have some amount of knowledge. Uh, demonstrating that is always attractive, I would say. Yes, it shows that he's ambitious, and he's also ambitious for her as well. Sarah, are you there? Yes, Richard. the phone to her ask her what she's wearing right now invite her to a fancy business networking event tomorrow wait i'm sorry i just want to know what happens if i click this sarah tell me what kind of food do you like Ew. food yeah, yeah just tell me oh my um, god why i don't know i like rice do you like lollipops Ew. no what's that sound nothing it's, it's just me jerking off in the fucking um, office well i'm on Speaker and with Phil Beckham at the moment. With who, sorry? Phil Beckham. Okay, cool. All right, catch you later, yeah? Bye. <laughs> 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 
this actually happened. Really? Yeah, uh, Louis C.K. Oh. Ew! Ah! God, they're punching him. Oh my god. Okay, let's invite her to the businessing network, whatever. Oh my god. Sarah, are you free tomorrow? There's this brilliant networking event. We've got a lot of industry bigwigs there. It's going to be super, super cool. Do you want to yeah. come? Yeah, of course. Thank you for the opportunity. Anytime. Okay, great. Oh my god, Richard LaRuna, what the hell, man? <laughs> so this is cool because it's kind of um, blurring the line a little bit between office and social. And you could do it with uh, after work drinks or you could do it with a team building event or uh, a business trip. But a networking event would be another option. But it still keeps it unprofessional. I don't know, man. Just I just case. feel like you should not be flirting with your employees. It's like, especially if you're the boss, it's so inappropriate. I don't know. What is he doing? Okay, how to behave at the networking event. Play it cool when there. Get drunk and make a move. Be slightly flirty. I feel like this is so obvious too. You would get a call from HR. I just feel like you should just be normal. Be a fucking normal you person. You don't want to be that person at the first given opportunity to start hitting on her. This is a business event. You should be acting professionally. There's also the thing that the longer it goes when you're getting on well and you're not hitting on her, then she starts to think, doesn't he like me or is he just being professional? And Anytime you can have her thinking like that, it's a nice way to kind of build intrigue and attraction. And keep her on her toes. I, I feel kind of bad for all the background actors holding their drinks. Like, how long are they standing there for? One week later, oh man, we're advancing in the story. She looks cute. So, you went to the event with Mr. Larina? Yes, I did. Did anything happen? Uh, well, the event was great. Uh, and no, he didn't try anything on with me. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Why? What? Are we supposed to? She wants that LaRuina dick. Is okay, that, that's not what that is. <laughs> it's the weekly strategy meeting. I want to get it kicked off in a great way. So, who has a fantastic idea? Mr. LaRuina. Gerald, okay. I've got one. I've been working on a proposal to increase our Facebook and Instagram likes. I have a three posts a day with the funny quotes health tips, and picture of the people with the disease and whatnot. Um, we think it'll get good traction in the social media, so we'll gain a lot of shares, we increase our likes. I'll send some concepts. What, what are they talking about? Uh, what okay. do you think about this idea? Uh, it's about going to be cost of about $15,000 per month budget to get up to 100,000 followers within six months. What the fuck? <laughs> Masturbate into the plot. Humiliate the guy for a stupid idea. Agree with the guy because your secretary agrees. Smiley persuade everyone to your view. Give him a big slap and fire him. Wow. First of all, I want to know what happens with this. Do you want to know what I think of that idea, Gerald? Everyone, you want to know? Yeah? Was it a good idea? Do you want to know? All right. Check it out. Gerald, this plant is your idea. I'll show you what I think of your fucking idea, yeah? <laughs> what the hell? What is happening? What? <laughs> I can't! Why is this one guy still here? Why is he still here? <laughs> right, get back to work. One guy's still there. Did he just want to see the action? Like, what's happening? So this is a Harvey move, Harvey Weinstein. Ew. Bad for the plant, yeah? Anti-plant, mainly is. Anti-plant, anti-everything. And you're just straight up gross. <laughs> um... I mean, you shouldn't agree with just because the person you're interested in agrees with it. I feel like that's so dumb, right? Like, you don't have, like, a, a say in your own, or you don't have a view uh, in your own points and whatever. So, like, I don't know. Should I just smartly persuade everyone into your view? I don't fucking know. 
Gerald, I like the direction, but I've got something that I need, and all of you need to pay attention to this. Anytime you present me with a spending plan, I need to know how that backs out in terms of revenue. I'm not going to spend 15,000 a month unless it makes at least 15,001, okay? So we need that in all of our plans. Do you know how much a like is worth? If you don't, you've got to find out. If you can't tell me, we don't do it, all right? Now, maybe you want to do something more targeted. Maybe you want to target FDA officials on Facebook. You gotta talk like a businessman, you know maybe what I you mean? You can't be like, yeah, let's do that, because I want to fuck this Facebook. lady over now, here. that's a good idea. All right, guys, so think about that. Anyone else got something that we can use? So, yeah, you're using the knowledge again in an attractive way, and uh, it's also important for someone in power not to kind of exercise that power at any given opportunity by crushing, killing, and destroying people. It's nice to. Yeah, to do don't it in be the a right dick. Way. Like, and, you know uh, how many yeah, bosses are such assholes to their employees when they're trying to, like, give a good idea? It's not, not a good look for you. Hey, morning. Morning. How are you doing? Good, and you? Oh, I'm all right. I'm a little bit embarrassed, though, that um, I've got a massive wine stain on, on my shirt. It's a disaster. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't exactly my fault. It was busy, but we don't need that kind of thing, you know? Wine stains are just never So what are you going to do, rip look. off his shirt? And do you think they'll be able to get it out of the dry cleaners? Uh, yeah, okay. All sure. Right. You didn't tell anyone, did you? Like, oh, Richard's done a mm, wine no. stain. No, 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 I didn't. All right, cool. How was the business trip for you, apart from that? Uh, it was great. It was great to see those speeches, and thanks for the opportunity. <laughs> so it's awkward. Say she needs to add me on Facebook as a company policy. Use her, uh, use her for the business trip to find out if she's single. Ask if she liked any men at the event and tell her why they're useless. Ask if she's single. I mean, you can't just straight up be like, hey, by the way, are you single? I think you gotta be like kind of maneuver it in this situation even though I don't think you should be doing that to begin with we were away for a few days you know is that okay with with everything like yeah you know, it's okay you don't have cats to feed no, or anything. no I don't boyfriend didn't miss you too much I don't have a boyfriend you don't finally okay, she's so, single um, and I can make my move <laughs> can invite you on even longer trips right like if we needed to go to different yeah, conferences sure. in different countries and stuff okay great All right Let's get back to work. He's gonna write on his diary. Dear diary, That's my cool. secretary nice is single uh, and I can finally a, date her. <laughs> sneaky way to do it because if you ask directly, does she have a boyfriend, is highly inappropriate. Yeah, exactly. It's really yeah, weird. Definitely. Even though it's been quite a while, I think it's still important that you act professionally. Doesn't and matter how, no, uh, yeah, how long you've known the person, manner, you should just straight up be like, hey, do you have a boyfriend? I agree with that. Sarah, can you come it? in? Richard, do you need anything? Yeah, I just wanted to share the good news. Have you seen the Wall Street Journal today? No. Ah, oh, it's brilliant. Oh, Those the Wall Street Journal. Every, every YouTuber's favorite journal. <laughs> brilliant. Really? Yeah, yeah, share price is up. Guy lost over a billion. Everyone's redeeming their funds, taking money out. He's in big trouble now. Everything's brilliant. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah, we need to do something to celebrate. Smack her on the ass and thank her for the support. Oh god, take credit and tell her to book me a spa day. Tell her that you're not finished with those... <laughs> those cocksuckers. Give her a thousand dollars and tell her to buy some fancy snacks and wine for everyone. Let's do... I mean, that's kind of risky too, isn't it? Like, you give them money. I don't know. Like, it, for me, it's like, that's such a big-ass, like, expense to give to someone. Especially if they're a new employee. But, like, this seems like... Um the appropriate answer rather than like being all weird and taking the credit for yourself so i know what we can do look we've got a little stash here take this cash grab it yeah i don't even know how much is there but why don't you go out see what we can get let's get some uh for friday get some booze some nice food sushi or something what else can we do this little Wait, gift. he has cash in his people, desk, right? like just Spend like that, and he just whips he out like that, like here, buy some crap. <laughs> That's so random. What if someone tries to rob your office, yo? What the hell? Uh, cool, nice one, right? Option, you know, it's good to show the love, be generous, and yeah, it's one of those cases. Yeah, where, be generous, uh, but all of a sudden you're whipping out a thousand dollars out of your desk. You credit the other people. 
<laughs> you know? You really did actually do everything. Yeah, and it's also nice to show that you're generous and that you appreciate everyone around you. I think that's a nice quality. Richard, yeah? everything is arranged. Oh, great. Thank you. Yeah, um, I just wanted to tell you something that I really like it when you're relaxed because you seemed really stressed lately. Finally, she can unstress me. <laughs> that face is more informal, professional, sleazy. I mean, you're supposed to be in, like professional regardless, right? But what happens if you be a little informal? I don't know. I don't fucking know. Hey, you know what, Sarah? I was really stressed, and I'm sorry if I was a bit sharp with you at times or anything like that. You know, it happens. But now, we're in a good time, so all is well. And... I think you bring this calm to the office, and it oh, definitely helps so the atmosphere. It's so nice to hear that. Yeah, you have a great energy. Thank you. Okay, good. He's not being too creepy. <laughs> Excellent. Well done. So, no advice, just well done. Okay, yeah. thank you, Mr. Laruna. Coolly invite her on a date, push her against the wall, and kiss her. Oh, God, no. Tell her it's time to add some new responsibility to, to her job undo bill. <laughs> oh, Ew! Why are you so like, ah, this is like, you're asking for assault! <laughs> you're asking for like, assault charges, my dude! No, I don't want to see any of that, because that just seems really creepy. It's just invite her on a fucking date, oh my god. You've been working here for a while, and, you know, we get on well professionally, but I hope you don't mind me saying, but I think we get on well personally as well. Mm, yeah. Yeah? So, this is a little bit delicate. And I hope it's okay. Why did he but, ask, like, during the um, workplace? Like, I would do it, like, off thinking, the job. I don't know. You can say no if you want. No problem. But I was thinking maybe one day we could go out on a date. Um, yeah, why not? Okay, great. And we don't need to tell anyone about it. It's just between us. Okay. I would ask when you're not working, but okay. <laughs> well done. It wasn't the best, but you could have done a lot worse, so... Well there was no other option to give me! You were gonna, like, assault her! That was the other so option! So, how's it going with Mr. Larina? I really expected you guys to get it on. No, it's just professional. Oh. Okay. So, where is this- what, what is up with this lady over here, my goodness? Jesus! Casanova! Alright! So, um... Obviously, I explored only 31% because I didn't see all the wrong choices. I do not want to see majority of them. So that was the end of chapter two. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I know this is not typically the same kind of like games that I usually play on the channel, but I hope you guys are enjoying it because like obviously a lot of it's taking the piss. It's just making a lot of jokes in this and not completely serious. So that's why I I, I do enjoy playing this game because it is funny to me. Um, but regardless, if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you think, and be sure to subscribe and hit the bell button so you know when I upload the next episode for Super Seducer with Richard LaRuna. <laughs> and I want to give a shout out to Mr. LaRuna as well for giving me a game key to play this. I'm still enjoying it, just... I wish there were, you know, like, the options of, like, asking out the person on the date, like, the last option there? I do wish there was, like, another option if you were asking it, like... Uh, asking her out on a different way because like they really only give you one option and then like multiple bad ones They don't really give you like two good options. You know what I mean? So I, I think it would be better if there was like two good options Rather than just one good option and everything else is bad. I feel like that would be a lot more Interesting to see you know what I mean instead of blatantly stating the obvious because sometimes there's another answer That's not the obvious answer. So I don't know. That's just my uh, Critique for this chapter so far but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this guy, this guy does not hold back. He's just like, let me just grab him and kill him. ...or develop another character. Video game deaths can be tragic. Here are six sad character deaths from video games. Roman, Grand Theft Auto 4.